We're starting off today with the Migrant surge in Del Rio worsening over the weekend. More than 13,000 migrants are living under the Del Rio International Bridge. President Biden says he'll start sending the mostly Haitian asylum seekers back to Haiti as early as tomorrow. And the Coast Guard has already moved more than 2,000 migrants to different checkpoints. Many are survivors from last month's earth earthquake and are seeking asylum. Families have pitched tents under the International Bridge Del Rio. Mexican authorities have kicked Haitians off buses, but they continue towards the board on foot. The situation is expected to get worse before it gets better. By air, we get to see the size of the crowd crammed under the Del Rio International Bridge. From the ground, a look at the living conditions. Tents made out of trash bags or dried palm leaves are the only protection from today's triple digit heat. Our agents are outnumbered. Raul Ortiz, a native of Del Rio, leads the U.S. Border Patrol. He just walked through this camp today. We've never seen a migrant population explode so quickly on the immediate border area like we saw over the last 72 hours. We've got roughly over 13,000 migrants from various demographics. Most are from Haiti. The Associated Press following their journey through the jungles of South and Central America. Haitians are fleeing their unstable country. Political turmoil and a decade of natural disasters have wiped away infrastructure, resources and jobs. Tonight, the U.S. government has temporarily closed the Del Rio border bridge. People will need to drive an hour away to Eagle Pass in order to cross in and out of the U.S. It's the latest attempt to funnel more federal agents to this camp. Buses are coming too. We're going to be running these buses 24-7, and I'm confident that, you know, within the next three to four days, we can make a serious dent in the population. Local leaders are hopeful. With more than 13,000 migrants staged less than two miles from town, there's fear of a stampede or riot. From my perspective, uh, we need to do everything we can to manage the safety and security of the migrants the community and of course our agents. A humanitarian crisis at the border pushed to never before seen limits.